Hey, welcome back my YouTube friends. I'm Vanessa with Scrapping It Up and today we're going to continue our journey with our journal book um, decorating part two. So welcome, welcome. All right, I will link um, class part one where I um, taught um, where, where we started decorating. My tongue is tied today. <laughs> and I'll also put the link down below where I teach you how to um, make this. Okay. Now, this can be a standalone project, but it was meant to go inside my file folder folio that I taught you right here on my channel. It goes right here. Um, I teach you from start to finish how to make this. I'll put that link down below. Um, you do not need to purchase the cutting guide, but if you would like the cutting guide beside you, I do offer that. But other than that, I give you all the measurements that you need to make this um, file folder album. Okay. And I'll put the link to the um, complete walkthrough of it because I do have one that's um is all decorated okay so i'll put that link down below so go check it out you might want to make it okay and it's completely made out of five folders now i did use a brown um wrapping paper that you can get at walmart it is a duck brand and oh here it is it's this right here and it's like 40 pound weight paper so in the class before, we got the cover decorated, and there's the back. We did add ribbon as a closure. That way, if it's you're doing this as a standalone project, um, it will have a ribbon closure. So you open it up, and we've done some um, rub-ons there. We haven't decorated this. We do have a nice pocket here that we'll be able to put some photo mats on. And then we just start decorating. This is a great way to use up scraps um, from uh, a collection that maybe you made another album with or you just have some scraps around. It's a great way to use up scraps. Mm, beautiful. And then this is a pullout. You can journal. You can put a picture on both sides however you want. And here's a photo frame. I left the top open so you could slide a picture down there. And I am using the Tranquility Collection from 49th and Market. And it's just scraps that I have left over. So this is where we left off. This little heart thing that we made here. Pretty sweet. All right. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some stenciling. And I picked out more time. Or maybe I'll find some something. I don't know if I want more time or not. Maybe let's look at our lettering. Let's see what we got. There's you. Photos. Happy photos? Or happy us? Maybe happy us. Maybe do it that way. And then I, we have these circles here. So I was thinking about maybe one of these. Those two are about the same. Putting those like that. Or we have these circles. We, we could do these. Here's a butterfly and a dragon. Dragonfly. Ooh, I like that much better. All right, so now I'm thinking I need something else. What about this? Why don't we cut this in half? Um, hmm, let's see what half is. I'll give you a measurement. I wasn't quite half. <laughs> Crap. It's about like three quarters of an inch. Okay. 
about like three quarters of an inch is what this will be. And I might save that. Never know. I was thinking we could put these. Yeah, let's let's angle it. Okay. So then this one would be over here. If I put it like that, it should be the same angle. Maybe. Hopefully I didn't do it wrong. Yeah, I got to cut them down. Maybe put it like so maybe something like that. Okay, so now I'm thinking about stenciling. Alright, so I'm going to get me a piece of paper. Put it underneath. And I want to use the blue. Trying to see what it's going to look like. I think that'd be okay. Alright, so I'm going to use my blue. Stormy Sky. Same thing to the other side. That's what that looks like. <coughs> That's just a nice touch. Okay, let's get this inked. And I don't think I'll put any photo mats down on this page. I was let it be a plain place for photos.
I want to take some of the chipboard off. All right, now I'll glue. All right, let's do the same thing to the other side. Trying to get it where it's even. All right. Uh, sometimes you just gotta use your thumb to. Oh, I bent that one. There. I didn't mean to bend that, but it does happen. There we go. Now you can put a photo mat on the back side if you want. It's totally up to you. I would keep the photo mat within the realm of the heart. I wouldn't um, let your photo mat come outside of your heart. All right. I try and stay within it. I think I just want to save it, just put photos. I don't think I want any photo mats on it at all. Looking at my butterflies. Maybe the butterflies would be cuter here. Alright, I think I'm going to leave that page alone. Save it for the photos. Alright. Or, we could put, we could have, yeah. All right, let's flip the page. Now we have a pocket on this side. So I know I had some more uh, German paper. Whatever I done with it. There it is. Okay. I'll trim a little bit of that off. Now, 
let's put some let's get some rub-ons Let's do this one. Oh wait, maybe maybe I'll do this one. Had to check. I felt like I was cutting through more than just one of them. Love it. All right. I'm going to cut this out. Story of story of today. Put this right down here. Beautiful. Okay. Set those aside. That will go in there. And you can cut photo mats. I'm going to use, um, I think, my paper. The leftover paper that I have and cut and do some photo mats. All right, so okay, I like that. What are we going to put here? I just I have a bunch of these left over. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. 
that I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut this at, let me get rid of this here. All right, so I think I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to save the other piece for the other side. Sorry about that, guys. This is the most my phone is rang in months. I don't know what's up with it, but and it's not it's not even around here. The phone call. All right, so I'm just, I'm going to divide this in half. Well, wait a minute. We put this here. Yeah, let's save this for our, our other page. I'm going to put this here. I think I'll just put that one right on top. Okay, let's do it. So, I'm just going to glue... this here so I just need to glue the bottom and then glue the side like that. Let me see if I got a butterfly. Oh, there's already a butterfly there. We don't need another butterfly. Okay, there's that. So if we do this here, this here, and have this kind of out a little bit. Maybe we can put that butterfly right there. I'm over here looking at my strips. I do like that. I'm going to angle it. Okay. I'll glue my photo mat down. Oh, I wasn't supposed to glue. Oh, well. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to glue the very top. Make sure that's straight. Okay. All right. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to take some of the chipboard off. All right, there we go. I'm thinking maybe this piece. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, so let's get this glued. This time, best ever. And we have a little flower. We could put a little flower right there. Yeah, this is such a fun process. I mean, it's you can do it however you want. I mean, there's no right or wrong to doing this. It's what you know. It's whatever your style, your style is. And even if it's not your style, you might try it. You might like it. <laughs> What's that? You know, Mikey. That one commercial, Mikey likes everything. <laughs> Telling my age, because. Younger kids today wouldn't know what that meant. Mikey will eat it. That's pretty. I love that. I love that. That turned out very nice. You can put a photo here. And then you have a pocket. Very nice. Okay. Flip the page. Now what are we going to do? I was saving. Oh yeah. This photo frame. So I'm going to cut this. Uh, I better use my. I better use my trimmer. Didn't cut it all the way. But at least gives me. So if we put one up here, one down here, let's see what size of photo frames. I like that. I like it. Alright, let's get our glue down. Okay. 
So the photo may I'll go there. Get this one. Oh, I should have inked these, darn it. Should have inked them the opposite color of the photo map. I didn't even think about it. That would have been cute. Oh, well. Alright, let's go ahead and get this. I'm not going to glue the very top because I'm not for sure what I'm going to stick down there yet. So I'm not going to glue the very top. Same way with this one. I'm just not going to glue the bottom. Just in case I want to stick something underneath. You never know. Ooh, I love that. I don't know, we might make just a little tuck spot out of this. Because we got... I mean, we got these can tuck down in here. Maybe decorate it up just a little bit. Yep, that's what I'm doing. And I'll use this one over here somewhere. All right, so I like that. I use my washi tape. I don't know how I'll use my washi tape over here. We'll see. Alright, so now we can ink and glue this down. So I'm just going to glue three sides. I don't have my washi tape straight. <laughs>
Yeah, it's straight. So now we have these little journaling. Okay, so the other side. Do I want to do... I wish I would have been able to stick that underneath. Or maybe just kind of divide that off a little bit. Oh, yeah, we can stick a foot. Yep, I like that. And that that I don't know if I got that straight. <laughs> oh, probably not. All right, so I'm going to cut this butterfly off. And we'll probably just use it down here somewhere. And I'm going to stick this beside the picture. So just like that. Okay, so let's glue this down. This glued. So I'm just going to glue the middle. That way the photograph can go where it needs to go. Alright, so now on these, I want to put... Maybe put the blue up here forever. Maybe put the little butterfly. Okay. Um, forever. Forever together. Uh, I want pink. Well, that's not an option. Well, I could use this as us. All right, I'll do that. So now here's another one of these. So I'm going to cut this butterfly and put this butterfly here. Okay. So maybe this, we could put it on here or you just put it in there like that. Oops. And I'm looking at my little hearts. I got lots of them. There's no re we can put some hearts and get one more. Let's get a dark blue one. There we go. That was a little bit different blue. There's one. Or put the pink in the middle. And then put the other one over here. All right. So let's get this down. Mm. 
and I didn't mean to glue all of it. One that stick underneath the picture. Or a picture be able to stick underneath of it. Okay. Get this one down. I just done the same thing. All right. Let's get our hearts down, and this page is done. Yay. We're moving right along. Now, sometimes the cardboard comes off easy, sometimes a little bit harder. Kind of bent that one. But if you like this type um, of journal books, I may... Just start doing some more of these, you know, just come on and just record myself decorating. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you, you know, if you like this type. But it's got clear defined areas for photographs and you can, you know, journal. You know, you could just put a picture half. You can write on there with a black, you know, marker. All right, right here now. Let's see, we got this. So again, I'm gonna do my rub-ons. I think I wanna do that real pretty. That real pretty rose one. Let me get that picked up. All right, where's my rub ons? Did I put them back over here? There they are. Nope, that's not there. Give me your rub ons. All right, there's a real pretty rose there, this one. I'm going to grab that butterfly, too. There. I see this one goes in, so this will have to go. Oh, the butterfly is on the wrong. guess really doesn't matter. I just usually try to put my design... On the end that sticks out from your pocket. But this is okay. This will be just fine. There. So I'll probably be wiggling the table. And I apologize. But we just got to do this. Love rub-ons. This ad, especially on this white journal paper, it looks pretty sweet. Now, I didn't like the rub-ons, you know, from years ago. 
I hated those rub-ons. The rub-ons that they have now, I really, really like them. Simple Stories has some nice ones out, too. I think all companies is br trying to bring back rub-ons. Beautiful. Love that. <coughs> Alright, so that will go in there. See, I usually like to put them on this side. We could put a butterfly up here. Let's do that. Let's put a butterfly up there. Let's do, let's do this blue one. That way we got a nice design <coughs> that's peeking out. Beautiful. Ah, oh, love it. Okay, so now let's look at our um, laser cuts. Let's see what we got. I really like some flowers like that. If I can find some. Well, that's pretty intricate. Well, let's see if we can get her. Sometimes I'm not patient enough. I get in too big of a hurry. And these, you, you got to be patient. But if I tear one off, I just cut off and you would never know. I will know, but you won't know. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's see if we can't doll this up. Okay, so let's get a photo mat. Put our photo mat right there. Okay, so. Let's see what we can do. Maybe use that there. Got these photo frames. No, I'm not liking maybe the brown one. Okay, now let's look at our lettering. Oh, 
or maybe do a butterfly and get that picked back up. Maybe we need some. Oh, here's a cardstock butterfly. That'd even be better yet. Or should we put them inside there? Okay, there's that. I like it. I like it. What are we going to do over here now? Okay, let's get our photo mat down. Okay, so now we need I'm just going to hold this photo frame here. See if I can't do it. Yeah, I got too much glue. Too much glue. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of hold this. See if I can't get this glued. Take that off. Alright, so we can glue most of this except for the very tips. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this glued. There, that's done. All right, so now let's... Let me look at my scraps real quick. Let's see if I can find something that... Why don't we put that there, that, if we cut this down, again I'm just going to angle. Cut just a little bit more off this end. That's about an inch, about an inch strip is what it is. Let's 
Little frames. I'll just try and find something to go there. Yeah. Maybe nothing. Maybe maybe it's best just to leave it alone. Um, <coughs> Maybe put that there. All right, let's do her. put that right there in the middle there's what we should have done and I still raise that up Now that's done. Okay, here's our very back of our book. Maybe photos. All right, I'm liking that so far. Now, let me look at our strips, see if we got anything. Ooh, I kind of like that. So I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to cut it to go over here as well. Oh, wait. Can we go that way with it? I'm going to cut two of them. And I'm going to angle these. Yeah, I don't know if I like that or not. I 
maybe something like that. Okay. Maybe if we put this here, maybe something like that. Okay. Maybe put the longer one up here. Because you don't want to do too much here because you're going up over quite a bit of bulk. So you don't want to kind of stay out of this area right here. do have another flower yeah frame ain't gonna work there it's maybe something like that do like that there let me put that one underneath so maybe something like that I like that The only place we didn't get decorated was this spot right here. Um, I'm looking at my die cuts to see if there's anything that oops Now, this is the only thing we didn't get done. Hmm. Or just mat it with paper. Um, or we could use. I mean, we got several of these. Let me get rid of that photo frame. Got several of these. I may just leave the frame up here. I 
then you could put um of course it's it'd be your small photos you know two inch two inch photos why don't we split this thing in half let's see it measures four so two inches would be perfect Maybe just get rid of that photo frame. There. Maybe something like that. All right. That finishes this up. Um, I will do a final review on it. And um, because I can't I can't flip to it right now because I got this ain't glued down yet. So as soon as I get it glued down, and I I don't know, I may change my my mind on this. I may just do some rub ons. But uh, I'll get the final review done, and uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed enjoyed this process. Thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, hey, we'll be talking to you guys in the next video. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.